Hey everyone, welcome to chapter 28 of Jasper Mia Sailing the World. So, as you can tell, we're still in sandblast right now. Right over here in the islands where we are, there's a lot of pangas coming around because we're a little bit close to mainland, but not close enough where you could just like go over, pick up groceries and come back. So there's a lot of pangas that are selling fish that they caught that day or lobsters, could be selling groceries. They also sell these things called molas, which are like these hand embroidered, I don't, I don't know what to call them exactly, but they're all hand embroidered and they're really like detailed. And um, they usually make them of animals and they tell stories about what it's like, life for the Kuna people, which is really cool. And so it's almost Christmas time and we got one for mom for Christmas, which is really pretty and I hope she loves it. I'm hoping we can collect a lot of rain off this. Snorkeling sandblast for the most part was great, especially in the outer ring of islands called the Hollandaise. There's great snorkeling, big reefs, but lionfish are a big pest there. So when we were there, we got um, just the sling spear gun and dad dove down and shot a, whole, shot a whole bunch of lionfish just because they have no natural predators. So people are actually encouraged to like kill them and there's lionfish derbies in some places because they have no natural predators. So they kind of just take over the environment. So dad went down and just killed a few and um, we caught this big one that we almost ate, but we were swimming for so long and we left on the paddle board. So it just got all dry. So he chucked it back, something else. For, to just decompose. But in other places in the sand blast, snorkeling wasn't all that great. Um, there was a lot of sand beaches everywhere in the sand blast, as you can tell. But because it was all sand beaches, when you went snorkeling, there was mostly just sand that you saw. So you didn't see any reefs really. Mostly just covered in sand, which was too bad. But like I said, in the outer ring, it was great snorkeling, so I very highly recommend snorkeling there if you can. Around where we were snorkeling, where it was just sand, there were a lot of big spiny starfish though, which was really cool, but there wasn't a lot of anything else. So when we saw a whole bunch of spiny starfish, Jasper went down and picked a couple up just to check them out. And it was really cool because you held them out for long enough and they kind of trusted you a little bit. They'd bring their tentacles out, which was really cool to see. Jasper was studying one. Neat. Uh, as hard skeletons as they are, they still move around your hand. Just like the shape around your hand. A couple days later, we made some strawberry cupcakes for the Kuna people because, well, we the Kuna people came and they wanted like, I can't remember what it was, but they wanted payment so we could be at their island because it was like their home island and they needed money to survive on because they didn't really have jobs there. I mean, there was nothing there but their little huts. So we couldn't pay them because we only had the credit card. So later that day, we were making strawberry cupcakes and we thought we might just bring them over. We're going to this island made some cupcakes, so we're going to feed the locals. Cute fluffy new doggo. Plus, they probably don't have cupcakes a lot because, I mean, it'd be hard to make cupcakes out on a remote island with a hut and a fire. Creepy dark So 
So we found out after our interaction, well, Dad found out that um, the whole island is populated by two brothers, their mom, and their friend that lives on the other side of the island. So they're the only residents, and there are absolutely no kids here. So we brought them cupcakes, and they're really happy when we brought them cupcakes. They're all smiling. And then we saw the, um, it was two brothers who were fully grown. They were like in their mid, late 20s, 30s. And then there was their mother who lived with them still, and she was wearing very traditional clothing. It was really cool to see, because I remember from Guatemala, clothing was very traditional in all places. So when we went on a road trip, in all the different parts of Guatemala, we'd see that the women had a different style of traditional clothing. Like some places would have lace, others would just have certain patterns. So it was really cool to see her style of traditional clothing. She wore a lot of rings though, like a nose ring, earrings, a lot of stuff like that. One of the few ways of dealing with garbage on islands is to burn it. So actually this is good that we see all this piled up ready for a fire. You can see this has been a fire spot. Maybe we'll have a fire here. Somebody went through all the trouble to build a palm frond shelter. By the way, this is Green Island in the Sandblast Island. Lots of stuff. Look at Teddy Bear. Um, after that, we headed to a different island and we went to this island called Green Island, but there's also a mini island right just outside of it, a dinghy right away. So we packed up a picnic and we decided to go have lunch there with Jaja. So we had a coconut that we bought from the Kuna people that came in the panga and we headed up over there. When we got there, we were surprised because there's actually a hut already on the island, but it didn't look like anyone lived there. It was just a hut and then there were some wood tables. And so we were kind of like, I hope no one comes back here. I hope this isn't anyone's house. This is so cool. With our coconut, we actually made some, we, Jasper hacked it open with our mini machete. And then we all had a sip of the coconut water, it was good. But then as soon as we all had a sip, Jad, Jajo and Dad added rum to it and made a drink out of it, which was funny. They enjoyed that drink. Super skinny. Yeah, it's just pink. We had our picnic there, it was all good, but then this fisherman came by and um, he had lots of lobsters, some big ones and some really tiny ones. He had an octopus and he had a conch. And earlier our, on our trip, we tried cleaning a conch, so it was, it was terrible. Dad was like smashing it with a hammer and his shell wouldn't break or anything. And then this guy just like smashes it, makes a perfect little cut and brings it out in one big piece and our minds were like blown. That was really funny. And um, he also cleaned the octopus, which is really cool in front of us. But it was surprisingly small. That was not our experience. No, no. Octopus. Kuna and Kuna le llaman kikir. And Kuna. In Kuna, kikir? Kikir. 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 
That's the Kuna name for octopus. Thanks for watching this episode of Jasper and Mia Selling the World. Make sure to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button below. Um, thanks for watching, and next video we will be going through the Panama Canal, so stay tuned.